friendly fire. It's the worst thing that can happen on the battlefield. When I was a specialist on my first tour in Iraq in 2004, it happened. Our FBCB2 EPLARS network was working fine. We could see the other platforms in our brigade and send and receive graphics and orders. Everything was great until we really needed to change our task organization to respond to a crisis. My buddy Tim Connors and I were in our striker moving toward Baghdad when our LT told us to reinforce an infantry brigade that was part of the main effort and taking fire from a group of insurgents. Unfortunately, the light fighters had FBCB2 BFT satellite version, so their icons didn't appear on our screens. There's my guys. The light fighters aren't anywhere on here. And this is what they saw. Themselves, but not us. Anyway, thanks to smooth terrain, we were making really good time reaching the light unit. <laughs> Maybe too good. As we made our final turn east and crossed into their sector to link up, things got ugly. They started firing. They must have thought we were the bad guys, so they opened up on us. Remember, they couldn't see us on the FBCB-2. Luckily, our LT managed to reach their commander on radio and told him to cease fire. Ten years in the Army, and it was the closest I've ever come to being shot. Last summer, I'm on my third tour, this time in Afghanistan. Thanks to the new FBCB-2 JCR, the risk of friendly fire casualties is much lower. This time, I'm the first sergeant of Alpha Company in a similar situation, except we're the ones who need the help. We were traveling east to Camp Charlie near Baglana i Jadid when we came under RPG fire from the nearby hill. I used FBCB2 JCR to send a spot report and text message to a nearby striker team to provide additional firepower. The strikers were about 10 clicks away, so it took a little while for them to get there. By that time, we were already engaged in the enemy. More Taliban came in on our flank, and it was pretty chaotic. Unlike my first tour, the self-descriptive SA capability of our JCR system allowed us to watch the strikers approach, as you can see here. So even though we were heavily engaged, we knew who to shoot and who to welcome. We told them to hold their fire, and we had the area secure in less than 20 minutes. And no one fired a single shot where it didn't belong. The new simplified EPLARS network allowed our unit and the striker guys to see each other without having a preloaded address book. It was an incredible system improvement that made all the difference in the world.